Yeah, that's fine. I'm not talking to voices in my head at all. Alright. Long enough. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Make this chap out. Stop biting me! Um. Silence! Now answer true! Are you demon, man, or woman? Uh. No, man! Demon! Your power over his mind is waning! Release him now! Release him before I am forced to destroy you! Remember, you are human. Remember. Whoa. Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name. What shall I name thee? Why you need things? Damn it! Stuck, stuck until she gets back. Coming up, might as well come up with a bunch of different stupid names. I was just about to say Captain Farm. <laughs> Dun dun Yay! We fix machines! We fix machines! Alright, so we're coming up with a name for our gadget. Uh, what should we call him? We've got this. I like it. There's, uh, actually, there's actually a character in this universe called Joe Malone. Okay. 
sure you want to go through the story like that. Uh, you positive. Yeah. All right. Old Cheesecake Malone is going to do this. Did you hear that, evil spirit? He knows himself. He is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession. Quick. Oh, what's our profession? Are we an actor? Are we a police officer? Are we a bartender? Are we not telling him a damn thing? Quick. Of course he is. Yes! He's beginning to remember. Sworn to protect the innocent from those who would do them harm. Inside you is a spirit yep. who will destroy you many unless you stop. Sort of do your duty character. one last time. Fight it! Remember who you are! That. Remember! Bar, back up. All right, this is the place. Just one thing before we get going. I want you to take point. You think you're ready? Uh, about damn time. Vicky. Well, maybe you earned it. Maybe you haven't. Either way, I need you on this. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform we called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. Who's Franco Moreno? Not surprised you haven't heard of him. He hasn't exactly made waves. Just do your job. Get statements, talk to Moreno about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. A line of fishnet long coats and white makeup extend around the block. This new Ebbyfish track is tight. Come on, let us in! Been standing here for an hour. You gonna fix this or what? of golf kids at the bay. Sorry, club's closed for now. You want in, you'll have to wait. I'm Cheesecake Malone. This is Vicky. We're with the NYPD. Oh yeah? You got any proof of something? Gonna need that before I let you in. <sighs> it's your show, partner. Do what you gotta do. Looks legit. About time you guys showed up. The natives here are getting a bit restless. You want to talk to Mrs. Thoris? She's inside. I didn't see much. I was out here checking for fake IDs when that cop ran inside and saved the day. By the time I knew what was happening, it was over. What do you mean, save the day? To do. Oh, are we going in for a cop? Yeah. As in, he saved lives and stopped the bad guys. It was like Bruce Lee or something. Anyway, you can go in. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. Just do what you gotta do so he can reopen. And give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. Are you two the police detectives? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Loris. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess.
sure I can tell you. It was something else. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. These long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then, then that Officer Marino stormed in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> Bruce Lee, huh? The guy outside said the same thing. Well, it's true. He fought them all. All three of them. Disarmed them and put them all in cups. Then he dragged them all to the back room. Got him. Got those knives get past the bouncer. One cup for three guys. We don't frisk here, detective. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Those kids, they're regulars here. They come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they do something like this. Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess we need a statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, you did the fly solo? I want to talk to the owner for a bit longer. Thanks. When this is done, first round's on me. Look, I know I'm Stay being a bit unorthodox, but trust me, okay? You're doing great. Cheese tape below. We can do anything. Sir? Officer Marino, are you all right? I'm fine, Detective. Never better. I guess you want to know what happened? I was doing my rounds, I was just passing by, and I heard screams from inside. I ran in, I found these three armed with knives and prepared to attack innocent civilians. So I disarmed them and cuffed them. Did all that by yourself? You don't exactly yeah, look like Bruce Lee. all by myself. Ask around, get everyone's statements, they'll back me up. Pixel hunting. Right. I don't know what came over me. I don't do stuff like this. But that cop stopped us. It was it was like a Bruce Lee movie. It might be. These kids sit comfortably with their hands handcuffed behind them. They look it was like taste. something out of a Bruce Lee movie. My God. Wait, who's Bruce Lee? What? We couldn't fight him. He was like Bruce Lee or something. <laughs> hey, was that interrupting anything? Bruce Lee. Just talking to the suspect. I'll bet he's fascinating. So, Marino, you got a pretty good caller here. Three of them, in fact. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just curious about one thing. These three are all restrained. Police issue cuffs, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, funny thing. The standard officer's kit only has two pairs of handcuffs. So, I just gotta know, where'd the third pair come from? <laughs> yeah. A lot of cops bring extra. What are you saying, Vicky? I'd like to know that too. I think post. No. See that, Franco? You got us both so puzzled. <laughs> you got an answer for us? Yeah, I uh, took an extra. That was lucky. You didn't need three cuffs when you took down that mugger yesterday. Just the one. Or what about those two deli robbers the day before that? You only needed two cuffs then. But today, you take down three bad guys, and you just happen to have three pairs of cuffs. You're a regular super cop, Marino. 
And we're Cheesecake Malone. We're supposed to be the super cop around here. What's going on, Marina? Where are you going with this? I Oops. am just doing my job. Oh. Your job? Right. All the suspects in all those crimes, they all had perfect records before you arrested them. And speaking of records, what about yours? You've had an unremarkable career up until this week. Care to explain this sudden shift in direction? I've... I've been reading. Reading? What, like, self-help or something? Or something. I did a great job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion. Oh. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll, Wait a minute. I'll just go call this in. What a doodle do. What do we do? Put that book down right now. I'm sick of taking orders from you. For ten years I've been the bottom of the totem pole, the butt of everyone's jokes. I tried to get ahead, really, I tried. But nobody ever gave me a damn chance. What? Oh, where? Yeah. Oh, good idea. What's with the Jedi mind tricks? Maybe if you gave the gym a chance. It was the only way. Here, let me show you. Oh, yeah. Drop the book. Yeah. Open your mouth and a bullet goes through it. Try it. Just try it. Cheesecake balloon. Fuck. Okay, okay. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just put the gun down. Take it. Just take it. I don't even know what I'm doing with that thing. Uh -huh. Oh, dummy. Look, I, I have no choice, you understand? I've been stuck in this uniform for ten years. Ten years! I can't take it anymore! But then I found that book. Well, what would you do? Oh. Fuck! Dude, what the hell? Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? Hmm. All right, everybody. Good game. Your chosen you vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha. Right. Oh. Eli. Must be an electric Pokemon. Judging by the view, you're somewhere in Brooklyn. Nowhere near you would be on Staten Island. She looks ordinary, but had a grip like a steel vice. She's hovering over a man like a mother hand. You can't see him from this angle, but he's moving. It tells you he's alive. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, 
put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That guy's harmless. That saw down and tell me what just happened. Harmless. I'll show you harmless. Check. Shut up. Thank you very much. Today. What do you guys think? Yeah. Hmm. False bravado. I believe you are correct. Told you. He doesn't even know what's going on. False. It looks like okay. his memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled. What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please come with us, and we will explain everything. How about you tell me? No, let's go inside. You just threatened me with a sword. Fine, I right can. That is correct. It is also correct that we just saved your soul. Do as you like. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. We're the good guys. I'm not sure I like this uh, looking about him speaking. Normally, names like this they speak. O M G. Do take your time. Soak it all in. I don't think there's cheesecake on the menu here. Yeah. This man was slashed in several places. You can split him quickly. His face is being beaten beyond recognition. Woman lies crushed under the table. Large mass of debris blocks the front. At least the rain is keeping crowds. Imagine. Oh, she's pretty tall, huh? Oh, I didn't even notice her. Pretty red hat impaled straight through the heart. Then you're too late. Uh, hang up my jacket, still. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? Do you do this? <laughs> no, no, it was neither of us, although we tried our best to prevent it. These innocents, innocents of this city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. Is it possible? No! I couldn't do this. Thursday. That's a lie. Why would you lie? You'll find that I always tell the truth. Famous for it, actually. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you slaughtered those police officers and those teenagers. Wait, that was a year ago? Oh, that was just a dream. Day. 
Vicky, Franco, where's Kate? Is that good enough? I'm gonna go for the first one. Your body did, if that's what you mean. That club's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. No, you can't do that. He is correct. Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you want to see justice done, help make it right. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did. And it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. I'd love to chat and get to know you better, but we need to vamoose. Quickly, leave through the back door. We will follow. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps he can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. Please do not waste time speaking. We grow tired. Hmm. Guess I go uh, make sure the garbage. Do we got here? Do stay back? Yep, I'll take that. Ooh, let's do the copper wire. How's that? I don't want something. Yeah, it'll be like a like Oh You've gotta be kidding me. Hey You get this place. Much has changed. Creature, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. Can I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, 
I used a lot of power. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Wise. Ahem. <laughs> Hi. So. Neophyte wise. mage. Playing with forces you don't understand. I'm mage that. enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. <laughs> it wasn't that one. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. I can smell your power, mageling. You have not left. You are nearly spent. Ha! And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. That may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. Oh no. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. So you're just as tired as we. No, I don't really like spins. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all. What type of food do you require? Uh. On this plane of existence, human flesh is all that will sustain me. Of course it is. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. Oh, I'll be able to like. Agreed. We cannot allow that. Depart in peace. Electric. There need not be bloodshed. I need to feed. I will die otherwise. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. The lady asked you to leave. I don't know how that helps. He's... Oh, oh, look, you look, 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 look. Me orders. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's it's shorted out. That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. What the hell is that thing? We cannot say for sure. This creature is from across the void. There are so many that they defy categorization. It's a ligamental. A what? It's made up of ligaments and sinew. 
It fits. <laughs> Very well. I'm sick with it. This creature is a ligamental. <laughs> oh, coming too. Such agony. What manner of pain is this? 10,000 volts. What, what shall we say? Do we have it at our mercy. Tell us, creature. Why do you deserve to live? I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? Been inside me, but not anymore. Or just cheesecake alone. The now. corruption is still thick within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. About all dead bodies inside, huh? Huh? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. Uh, it would draw too much that. attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Uh, yes, it is the most practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished. Yes, I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude. Especially for one in your situation. We are the smart. SMT. I mean, SMRT. You want to tell him, or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You are wanted by the police for many violent crimes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but your days as a cop are over. Indeed. Although you can serve in another way. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process. But you've more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? You guys are obviously hopeless without me, it sounds like. <laughs> say that again after my powers recharge. None of us are at full strength. Come, 
We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Elephant, elephant, a memento of sire, written on so. A whole pot of espresso just for you. Somehow it's a it's, 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 poster of a heavy metal band, Epsis. Swords that I can like break off now. We scratched a violin and bow. Again, bow. Bottle of brandy with Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. It took you centuries to lean them up against the wall? Okay then. You are awake. Did you sleep well? astonishes you after all you experienced i suppose i should have seen this coming introduction to the supernatural world can often have ha, unpredictable effects Disney's on the mundane mind Latin. it may take some time for you to process it all who are you calling monday that's uh east cake malone not monday I believe you might be right, especially if last night is any indication. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because Get there is so little Monday. time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Looks incredibly ancient and it's engraved with indecipherable characters. Vicious looking weapons decorating. Study. Back walls. Uh, steps. Do you want to go down the steps or into the study?
me. Okay. Poor photo. Hey! Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. Think you settling in okay? Sure you think you got anything over Cheesecake Malone? Throwing fire. You noticed? Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. Could I ask you a few questions first? I don't see why not. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool is Cheesecake Mumbo? It's a 10. Curious about yourself. About last night. Could I ask you about some of the pictures? Do it. Or can we talk about the unavowed? Well, I'm probably going to go through all of these. I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? Now I'm Gosh, uh... A really long time? Sorry. If you're looking for a history lesson, Mandana or Kalash are the ones to ask. As far as I'm concerned, we do good work. That's all that matters. What does the Unavowed do? Well, we're sort of supernatural police. I guess you can relate to that, being a cop and all. Sometimes there's a threat that only we can handle, and we go and handle it. Well, I say sometimes, but... Lately, it's been a lot more than that. You know, I wondered the same thing when I first joined. I mean, we're careful. We use veils. I don't throw fire around Times Square or anything. But the real secret, nobody notices us. It's kind of uncanny. Mundanes go through crazy mental tricks to pretend we're not there. So maybe the mundane world isn't ready for us yet, but they will be. They won't have a choice the way things are going. What threats? How much is a lot more? Let me put it this way. There are 732% more threats than there used to be, give or take 0.5. A year ago, we'd usually be called out once a month, if at all. Now it's almost every day. And me and Mandana, we're the only ones dealing with it. Until now, anyway. Sure. You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. Four days? Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know the creature was technically blameless, but I'm still not sure we made the right call. Still, I suppose it's too late now.
Look, I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe next time. Right. See you around. Not sure if he should be using the fire right next to the fire extinguisher. the new one, aren't you? You're blue. <laughs> yeah, see if this are getting arrested. No, I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of the unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How would you let that happen? Spelt it. D-J-I-N. No, G-I. It didn't exactly let it happen. Cheesecakes never let anything happen. Touched it, and then Cheesecake Malone went on a killing spree for a whole year. That book, didn't you? Exercise that precious free will of yours? Yes, as I thought. <laughs> In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new boy? Don't know you're bloody born. I got hit by lightning yesterday, several times. I've read your service record. Adequate, but not exemplary. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Escape. I don't believe I gave you permission to leave. Yes. 
Certainly. What is your question? I will do my best to answer. Eli is my partner, and a dear, dear friend. We have saved each other's lives more often than we can count. You and he have much in common. He was once mundane, like yourself. I would recommend asking him about his transition. It might help with your own. Me? What do you want to know? The term is Jin. And yes, on my father's side. And no, I do not grant Damn. wishes. When was this city founded? 1624. Yes, I was just a child, but it was around that time. Jesus. 418. No, 19. My birthday was last month. It is difficult to keep track, but Father always remembers. I will do my best to answer. Last night, yes, you gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, but it was a wily thing. Be grateful that you cannot. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could, but we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. Thank you. Okay, I guess it's Eli, but progress this. Eli. Hey, what's up? You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to- I just wish I- I know that still. Look, I really- I guess if we're gonna- So, why do you think- Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. So you're a wizard, Harry? Mm, never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage, with a capital M. The capital is also important. At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Nope, kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Donna told me you used to be mundane. Like me? No, we're not mundane. Sure. Right. See you around. I guess maybe if we go up to bed.
Janie. Hey, blue boy. Blue boy, blue. Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Oh. Yeah, there we go. Call the meeting. Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit he doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of him. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. Great. Uh, well, I think. I am aware of that. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise, that is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Don't blame them. This cheesecake alone doesn't need to get any more. Yeah, just keep quiet. Father. Regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. <laughs> Your mission was a failure. They saved me. Well, that was a failure. Hey, they saved Cheesecake. That's no failure. The demon is still out there. Saving you was a side objective, nothing more. Saving people isn't a side objective, sir. And how many might now die because you let the demon escape? I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Alright, my first mission. So soon. I am just kidding. You are correct. In more ways than you can imagine. I have detected void activity in the East Village. Somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Neutralization. What do you mean by neutralize? It means do whatever it takes. Are you sure he's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If he isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill him now. Trial by fire, sink or swim, do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed new boy? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> well, I guess that settles that. None of us. Yeah, we're a team. Try not to forget that. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Charles in charge. Charles. Please, we should not waste time. 
Yeah, the subways are super slow this time of night. Looks like the K train is down again. Eli, the K train was discontinued in 1988. Was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. You did. In 1986. <laughs> A store, place, destination, East Village. Ha! Still raining. <laughs> Get it. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Okay, so Get it. You get it. Get it. It's so witty. Well, the night is young. Yes. You need not worry. I will not get arrested. The very idea is so... well, pardon the term, but so mundane. I would suggest we explore. If there is void activity here, we will find it. Or, most likely, it will find us. Agreed. There we go. You seem troubled. Does something matter? So there is. But you have nothing to fear from him. Not with the veil in place. It's totally harmless. Well, mostly. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with... complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense. The veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Good. Let's keep going. Evening, sir. Who wants to know? <laughs> I'm a fellow cop, like you. You're a Midtown South Precinct, right? I recognize the badge. 
Whip. She's taking a lot of whipcrack here, bro. Oh, you're trying to hide it. Hmm. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. It's been in the news, but I don't blame you if you don't read that stuff. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attack this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is... horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. I don't blame you. See ya. I can switch between characters. I can use it. I have nothing to say. Are you all right? You look a little... Where are you taking me? This building is safe, right? Taking you out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I need your help. You need mine. Perhaps we can help each other. That's the way of Cheesecake Malone. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Just go right for this door. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think he's coming out of it. Are you all right? Yes, you did. We saw it too. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Oh, Lord, no. Pure audiovisual output only. This building the demon entered, it used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? I... Wrongly doubt that. Yeah, everything's digital these days. Right, enough jabbering. Let's go. Lock. <sighs> well, that just figures, doesn't it? and burned the building down. No, there are less destructive ways of getting inside. It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. It's 
smells very human in here. Looks like right. people were squatting right. here. Half a dozen at least. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. That is... doubtful. Yes, this room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Someone of importance, most likely. Or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner? Most likely. about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. I'm just... Just gonna go like that person. No! I'm not chicken nugget. I'm just fixing the thing, Steph. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, don't worry, I'm just fixing the thing. Notification, 17 notifications. Oh. Trying to make it so uh, you guys can hear Discord. So it doesn't sound like I'm talking to my dad so.
then it might uh, do the actual thing. No, it doesn't. Alright, I don't know how to fix uh, the sword in the back, so I can hear you. Sorry about that. I'll get that in the next episode. Harmless? A ghost? Are you serious? Cheesecake Malone doesn't fuck with ghosts. Right, so ghosts exist. Let's move on. Come on, you stop being ridiculous. We've just got Don being possessed by his demon now he's telling me. Ghosts exist. That's ridiculous. A ghost or right? Thomas? Yeah, they can't exactly do anything, can they? They have no physical form. We cannot interact with them, nor they with us. It is best to leave them be. Seems a bit cruel. Shouldn't we try to help it? Can you exercise it or something, Ellie? So ghost exists. Do you want to try help the ghost? Forty years ago, I would have joined you. But Mandana's right. There's nothing we can do for them. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Let us move forward. It is a different lady that gets involved before. So a different game. Ow! God damn it. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over... I have no idea. I can't see a damn thing. Funny we had somebody that lit fires like the way. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Not sure what you're trying to do there. The fuse is obviously blown. Your face is obviously blown. Yes. Uh... I admit to not knowing much about the subject. Eli has made a study of them. I would recommend. Called Joe Malone. He's my brother. Cheesecake. A light source is needed. This is obvious. Agreed. Yeah, it failed. Blown. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. We're going to need a mundane source of light if we want to see anything. Well, it looks like the light goes upstairs, so this box is upstairs. It is. Yes. It's a video upstairs. Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. This wall drawing means nothing to me. Eli? Me neither, although it's different from the art in the other room. How so? Outside it was more vibrant, colorful, more creative. It had passion. The art in here is just patterns. Patterns? You can see them if you... What have you got there? An old fuse? Hey. Seems to still be intact. 
I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. Photograph. Check it out. Yeah, Texas. Just a sec. Oh. Color me gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Blanket is covered with moss and lichen. It's funny. It's a fun guy. Eww. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Whatever this was, their face has been eaten away by some kind of moss. Time to have a look. Male. Early to mid-sixties, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. But there are wounds along his neck. You are correct. Blade wounds. They are difficult to see with all this growth in the way. You have a good eye. So this guy was murdered by a person? It appears so. I cannot say, but I believe the answer you? lies with you. Is it you, Steph? Did you do it? Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you, you were involved, put, like, or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No so other visions spring to mind. Well, it was that. worth a shot. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. Oh, no. It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... agitated. Let us leave it be. Can you hear me? It's not responding. Pretty normal, for a ghost anyway. I've tried talking to ghosts before. They never respond. Speaking to a lost spirit is futile. Keep saying that all day. I'm going to keep trying to communicate with the spirit.
Well, what else to do here? I've looted everything I can yes. get out there. It's, it's been going a bit... I've tried showing them the picture. We have encountered excessive vegetation and a lost spirit, among other things. We need more information. That much is certain. Your face is so. Agreed. How about that? How about... See, when I click on it, it doesn't let me... Fuse is in the fuse box. That's a good idea. Yeah, it just says PW equals heart. Password. Password equals heart. Check this out. Page Figure out what her name is. something we just gotta figure out maybe who the ghost is if we can find out who the ghost is and if it's like that Woman or something. Vice versa is probably the name. Don't have any sort of ID. It's not responding. No response. Yeah, let's have 
a little lead. Yeah, maybe. Looks like it's just on the streets, but... Oh, maybe we can ask the uh, cop, see if he knows. Like, who is Kappa? You know who's Kappa? Oh wait, we can go... We can actually walk around. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Really? Whoever is in that photo, this woman is not her. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Is he this picture, it's of you, isn't it? Where, where did you get that? I mean, poor homeless lady. Uh, you didn't The village I... Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. Wendy! You don't need to come out here and... Wendy. Wait. It's you, isn't it? You've come back. Wendy. We're gonna... Sure, Wendy. Yeah. Come back. Come back. Who do you think I am? I'm Cheesecake Malone. Jeez. Don't patronize me. I know who you are. You're the master. Mm, yeah, that's right. Cheesecake Malone is always the master. Yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, no. no, Wendy. You've got me confused with somebody else, obviously. You're done. What do we say? Number one here? You really think I'm stupid, don't you? You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void touched. What touched? Void touched. It means. I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, Master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Wendy, could you tell me what happened at the village I Why should I? Loitering in a park is a crime and I'll report you if you don't tell me. This whole cheesecake is What do you think, Dennis? Report up! You honestly would, wouldn't you? Go ahead, do it. Get the cops to throw me in jail. I don't care anymore. Not after the way you left us. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. Shall we come clean? Shall we say we don't remember her or anybody else? Or shall we say we found a dead body? Or shall we say... Uh, Village, I has a forest basement. Or... I left you. What do you mean by that? And continue. You what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that. 
but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others aren't so lucky. What others? You never cared, did you? All that time, I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. Good. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. Hey, we found a dead body in the basement of the village I building. Right? You can't prove a damn thing. Okay. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. So, there's a vault village. There's a forest in the uh, village. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. Who's the guy in the picture with you? You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone, no thanks to you. Tell he and I were a, a thing, kind okay. of, I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. He and I were a, a thing, kind of, I, I don't know. Or nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's not that you care. I'll Please, catch you later, don't I'll come back. <laughs> Just so we are clear, we are not calling you Master. I think you should stop calling you Master. Master Cheesecake. I think it's Wendy, not Jordan. Wendy. Wendy. Hey, it is Wendy. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago, I, fly, I was fired from my job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago, my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street in the middle of this brutal winter. Home shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me and put me here. He gave me clothes and food and a laptop. He exists like a journal of all my experiences here. He also says. I should call him Master. That's fine. Master Cheesecake, that's fine. I don't care. I'm safe here. And I'm not leaving. Heck, if it keeps up, if it keeps me alive, I'll call him God. Entry uh, two. The Master brought me more. Well, see, this is where we can take turns. I can't. They can, they can't hear you on the screen. So. Uh. No, sorry. The master brought me a few more people in. They are all homeless. They are homeless. Girl named Wendy who loves him. The indescribable incredible thing. Me, I'm so cold, it's so hard for me to be born. Dying. If you free, that's what I'm dying. There's a tree, right? Floor, a tree. 
Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. Oh, it's uh, nothing. Just a little run-in with a golem and a succubus that got a... A story for another time? Right. <clears throat> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. I'm back. Let's After get to you. It. What are we getting to? What they say about the goal. Alright. Sounds like the plan was going to be something.
there's nothing new about the Tree of Life. I think maybe we should talk to uh, Watson Basic. Things don't do Red job. Shit. I knew I should have tossed that computer. Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? I was a wandering blood Whatever you think I did, it wasn't me. Don't lie. Was it all true? Like hell you weren't. You were the one who taught us. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words and we'd heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. But whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. failed everyone. I was supposed to help them, but instead I... I cut with the knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. I saw the ones on the body. That was no accident. Yeah. That's five cheesecake. Look, we were dying. All of us. A few splashes of blood on the altar wasn't doing the job anymore. So I thought... You thought you would kill an innocent man. It wasn't like that. He was almost dead anyway. He had a few days to live at most. So we thought... So yeah, we killed him. I killed him. I thought that was the end of it. But then... His spirit... It came back. It was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. So we go. And then. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. Oh, no, it me. is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. There's no point in lying anymore, is there? 
master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn him in. Where's that knife now? He said... He said he needed healing. What is wrong? So what's wrong with that? I bet it's drugs. Or... Where's the knife? I mean, that's important. It's okay for okay. that, so... Children are picking up. What have you got your hand in there? No! Uh, one or two. Terrible palsy on my left side. It was bad You're before. Palsy. I could it's barely handle doctor. sewer duty. It's much worse now. Sewer duty? No, no, no. Get the knife. You sewer seriously duty? don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. I went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. Are you serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Do you think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. We're gonna fix this, don't worry. Bye, Wendy, and good luck. <laughs> Bye, Wendy. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna fix this, don't worry. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, Master. Do whatever you like. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. Just shut up, baby. Such a damn genius. Come on, we create one cult. It's just winch, winch, winch. Let that go. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Are you trying to lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? Yes. You never know. Maybe the demon gave him super strength. Yeah. I guess not. Sorry. Nope, but we have a gene. Meaning. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Racing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away swim. most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. I admit uh, that my knowledge of sanitation systems is lacking. But should this water be boiling? Have a go. Eli Beckett, mage, accountant, and plumber, and sometimes all three. We 
pipe Wendy was referring to. Huh. Looks like Wendy was right. Remember, Master, how you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. I remember. Oh, she said it wasn't anything else. You don't know almost everything. Sorry. Ha, it's just a still time. Ooh. That was no demon. It was you. You were so Ooh. kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything, that could help me get warm again. But, uh, <laughs> looks like we found it. And... So... And so... So... Bad. the father track. I'm not sorry. Uh, so we want wise crack. Wise crack. Oh, the cheese crack knows how to wise crack. I know! You warned me that that spell was dangerous. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart, so I spoke it. Then, this happened! You were inside the homeless shelter when you cast that spell. Do you think I meant for this to happen? No. You misunderstand. The shelter referred to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? What do you think? Well, let's focus on helping. Yeah? I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Help me, Master! I know I don't deserve it, but please! Help me before I hurt anyone else! That's some questions. Uh, Anything you want! A knight! Let's go. Let's cross down here. The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? 
I'd love to study it. I suppose after you help me. Uh, so we spoke to Wendy. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. You know, you burn out a homeless shelter. You set yourself on fire. The person you put in charge put, killed someone on the altar. You're a terrible person. Oh, he could have killed himself. Master, this is all too much. I served you, faithfully, then you left when I needed you the most! How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me, help me, do that and I will get the knife for you gladly! I've been trying, but the fire is different. It's self-generated, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. She... she what?! Yeah. Why would she do that?! Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end! Please, just let it all end! Thank you, Master! Maybe we should get Wendy. Hey Wendy, we've just traumatized you about all the shit that we've uh, got up, but I've got something that really traumatized you. Poor guy. He played with power. They talk about stuff, but like, they talk about it. Maybe I should stand around for a little bit. Don't care. I want nothing to do with him. And you can tell him that. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but it's not gonna involve him. Or any of them. Or you. No, no, no. Come on, you gotta see this. Join up with us. You mean become your precious follower again? Fat chance. No, come on. You misunderstand. Your experiences have left you void touched. You can see what others cannot. You have taken a wrong path for certain. But you could be useful to our cause. Find a place. Redeem yourself, perhaps. You say that like it's easy. Believe me, it's not. Than no thanks, but no thanks. I'm done. Whatever all this crap is, I'm done. Very well. We will respect your decision. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. Right. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. A middle-aged man humming, humming to himself and glaring at anyone who approaches. him. So he's glaring and humming at the same time. He does that. Uh, maybe the ghost? Speaking to a lost spirit is...
Evening, sir. Chance I can take a look at that. No. Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Playing one of those. Playing one of the, playing one of those old-fashioned uh, games from back in my day. So it's new. It's from 2018. They went out of business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to invest. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. You need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Because I'm a detective with the NYPD. Oh, I've got my badge. So you are. You're with the Staten Island Precinct? What brings you out here? We're tracking down a serial arson. It's classic. No, we'll just say we're checking down a serial arson. Really? This is the first time I've heard of it, and yeah. nobody ever tells me anything. Nah, no, you think this building was torched by the same guy? Sure patrol beat cop. Take as long as you need. I'm not exactly going anywhere. All right. The site's all yours, sir. Searching for an arse. I'm so old. Melis is young. Come on, Ace. I'm not that old. I'm not that old. Shut Interesting. up. Interesting. That officer Jeez. believed in your authority without question. He was a cop. It's in his voice, his stance. You can't exactly fake that. That is not in dispute. You certainly have a gift for command. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. criticism of this game is like the looking around he doesn't do what he thinks and I like that in things because it's like adds more to the character he says what he thinks in other games like uh, Black Mirror series and things like this and also like there's not much to look at either charred walls and steady thing you know there's not much to click on you like clicking you the point and click you like clicking on things a lone locker stands intact amidst the ruins. Is something the matter? The locker is cold as ice. Oh gee, I wonder why it's cold as ice. The locker's freezing solid. The thing is freezing! Freezing? That is certainly interesting. 
Pop man, do this stuff. What's that possible? This building's on fire not too long ago. Can't be normal. Oh, well, the ice is perfectly normal. Nothing magic about it. It's the cold that's not natural. So you believe this is magic related? Alright, are people still saying duh? Dry, warm it up. That. Come on, melt! Is no, don't praise him for right? saying Everything stuff like fine. that, Lynn. God it's just damn it! Something inside is fighting back. You there. just put a water face. Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett. Get the Enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. Big block of ice has formed inside the locker. A faint shape is visible inside. Oh, cold. Uh, do you think you know what's inside? What's in the box? What's in the box? Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Yeah. Jesus! There's a lot of dead people in this thing. Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Awesome. Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. This body look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but as to who, I cannot say. Young man, lovely and nice. He looks slightly familiar. Holy crap, it's Jordan! I didn't know that. I think it is. It's definitely the same guy in that picture you got. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. So that's him, right? So many people died. No, no he can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull them over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything. Anyway. Well, 
Let's leave that body alone, okay? Hope you found everything you needed, sir. Evening, sir. You're kidding. It just never gets easier, does it? All right, I'll take it from here. You report to your boss and I'll report to mine. Hopefully we'll catch this guy one way or another. And then a good work for you. Old Cheesecake Malone never puts down it. Oh, thank you, sir. I'd appreciate that. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again with your fingernail. We playing a silly old um, fucking quick game. I am. Yes. Are you? You are not even aware of it, are you? Blackwell uh, games. It's like it's set in that universe. Um, uh, why it's is like this not a big the deal? same characters? Though. It's like new characters doing new stuff. It's pretty interesting. It indicates a loss of control. Um, it is minimal, but. Right. I know. I'll work on that. Master? We went to the shelf. You did? What did you find? Uh, we found a corpse. You dead, boy. <laughs> Look at this, you're kind of dead. So, uh, you kind of froze to death in the shelf. How? Yeah? Kind of dead? I'm. What? Yeah, I'm you're... dead? Yeah, you're dead. No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. Ooh. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are. Fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah? You should have left me in the cold, Master. You should have left me to die. Thank you, Master! Look, we do have one option. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing... Will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful? It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it! Oh, wow. Okay. No. No, it is not. Oh, I will good. not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Okay. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? 
Uh, what if we just stayed down here and sue us? One that continues. Sure. On an alien world. In an alien dimension. What all alone. Human flesh, really. Then, uh, if you die here, man, it will hurt, but you will be at peace. There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. Stay down here? Like this? I... I can't! This needs to end! Agreed. He cannot stay here, and he is much too dangerous to leave loose. This needs to be settled now. Besides, it's only a matter of time before some sanitation worker comes down here and gets the shock of his life. And if they don't, he'll be stuck there forever. Yes! Yes! Master, you were right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension! Okay! I am ready! You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life, assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? Nope. I mean, he has a chance there, but more than he killed a bunch of people. A chance is better than nothing? Maybe. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being, I couldn't take it. I know that much. His soul is still human. His mind is still human. But I'm not him, so what do I know? I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal, but I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he...? Yes, he has gone through the void. I believe he will be, eventually. Only time will tell. He did retrieve the ritual knife for me before he left. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind. Pizza. Pizza. Right. I'm gonna save this here. <laughs>